Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm playing Dwarf Fortress. It was finally released on Steam a couple of days ago and I've been working on this game for like 20 years. So I thought, hey, I'm just gonna chuck some money to these guys just I like because I like to support these sort of companies. So it had overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. So I thought I'd check it out. Basically, if you're not familiar with it, it's a base building dwarven, yeah, dungeon building game, I guess. You basically select a map, you choose where you want to start, and there's different locations on the map, and then you dig into the mountains, and then you can set up your little base, and then dig down and build other things, and build fortresses, so, yeah, hence the name Dwarven Fortress. Anyway, we'll start a new game, uh, we're creating a new world, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I had to turn the volume down a little bit, because the music was very loud. Music's very good in this game, but it's just a little bit loud for me. Create new world. Um, skip the guide. I did play this game a couple of times already. Um, so I've got a bit of an understanding of how to play it. And I watched a couple of tutorials on, um, on YouTube. <clears throat> anyway. Let's create a new world. We'll just do it with standard defaults. Loading all the items in. The seed maps are like randomly generated, so... Basically this up here is like running through a history. And if you read it in detail, each game is like slightly different because all these events happen. And it will change the story of your world each time. As you can see things popping up on the map as uh, cities get founded. Anyway, let's start from, was it year 98? The Age of Myth, year 100, okay. So we'll play now, and then we'll select a region on the world. I made a bit of a mistake last time I played this. I, uh, I selected a map and there was no soil to um, grow mushrooms, it's all silt. Okay, so the game types we have Fortress, Adventure, which is coming soon, and Legends, I haven't messed with that, you should just do Fortress. And it passes a few things, uh, a few weeks, just to get things ready, there we go. We'll skip the tutorial, and let's figure out a good spot to start a base. If you look up in the right hand corner, we want temperate really. And we want lofty soil, so I need to try and shallow clay. Little soil, deep soil, maybe that's what we need. Temperature scorching, we don't want to go there. Okay, let's try up here in this mountainous area. We can zoom in as well. Uh, we're looking for. Light aquifer. I'm not sure what that is. Um, yeah, let's keep looking. I'm looking for lofty soil, little soil, some soil. Let's go here and have a look. So these red squares over here, these are like elven areas or goblin areas. So you gotta be careful where you build. Oops, I just lost our spot. Clay, shallow clay, deep soil. It's going to take a minute. I mean, I remember the last time I did a map, it took me two generated maps because I chose the wrong spot. It takes a minute just to kind of set things up. There's lots of trees over this side. Shallow clay, some soil, light aquifer. I don't want any lack aquifer. Oops. Is that there? Elven forests. Elven forests retreat. Oh, we don't need, we don't want to build near the pointy ears, so we'll go somewhere else. Uh, let's have a look over here. Yeah, that's Elven Forest there. That's a big mountain there. What is that? <clears throat> right. Little soil. 
little soil. As you can see here, there's no trees. Trees, thick vegetation, heavily forested, little soil, shallow sand. Come on, it's got to be a good spot here. Little soil. I think up here was the good soil. Deep soil. Little soil. Shallow sand, very deep soil. Temperate, trees sparse, untamed wilds. I think that might be a good spot. Okay, let's embark. Let's choose our square very carefully. The square is basically our map size, so out of this giant area, <clears throat> you choose a tiny, tiny little plot. You can change the size of the plot if you want. I'm just going with the standard one, because I heard like bigger maps, it can get rather laggy. Little soil, very deep soil, shallow sand, sparse trees. Let's just do that. There's a river there as well, so we can get fish. Okay, let's try this. Now this time, I'm going to check the mountain and check the spot I want to dig into, because last time I just dug in and there was no soil. Uh, dense sandstone wall. This might not be a very good map. What's this? Clay loam wall. There we go. That's what we want. Clay loam wall. What have we got over here? Clay, sand, silt. Our oh, cart is here. It might even be worth... Actually, no, I should probably build over here. It'd be nice if there's some clay over here somewhere. Sandstone wall. Sandstone wall. It's all sandstone. The, the lofty soil or the clay loam wall seems to be here. So we're coming here. <clears throat> we'll dig this part out. It's going to be a bit of a trek for our men, but it's not too far. Let's zoom out a little bit. Sun pours out, and let's set <coughs> a task for our labourers. Don't show that again. Okay. We have a woodcutter. We're going to set him to mine, and a miner. Uh, we're going to set both of them so they can do both. Hunter can be leader. Uh, planters. Who's a planter? This guy. We have one fisherman. You can also gather water. Haulers. I think this guy can haul and that guy. Leader won't haul because he's the leader. And we have three haulers. Stonemason. This guy. Engraver can also be the stonemason. Uh, plant gatherer can be our leader. He's a hunter and a gatherer. And that should do for the minute. Later on you can add different work details. You can have doctors and stuff as well. Uh, jewelers. Different crafts. Anyway. Let's get these guys working. They should all start moving now. Let's set some zones. Uh, where's the fishing zone? Right, don't show me that again. That can be our fishing area. Cool. Accept. And if you want to change the uh, name of it, you can up there. Okay, let's set another zone. Let's set water source. That might be a good water source right here, actually. Whoops. Whoops, did not want to do that. And then let's use the, ru the eraser, or rubber as we say in England, to remove those and accept. 
and that will be our water source. So, let's also build a pasture because we do have some animals we start off with. There's like a couple of cows there and some bison and some ducks. So, what I usually do is I'll set pasture pen and we'll set that, hang on, I'll set that over here somewhere. This whole area can be for pasturing. Accept. And then I'm going to create a couple of storage outlets outside. I have this area for wood. I might actually make that a little bit bigger. Just wood only. Yeah, let's expand it. That for wood. I'm going to do one for stone as well. So we click here again. That looks pretty good. Steps, and we'll set that to stone. These are trees. If you like zoom up, you can see the treetops. So we'll cut those down. I would trunk. So we'll cut that. Uh, walnuts, we'll take that as well. We're going to use that for making furniture. We'll clear all this area just so we have a nice open space. And once they've cut that, they'll start dumping that in that stockpile. Okay, let's get these guys moving. For some reason, there's a dog in the river. Oh, here they go. Dropping stuff off. Let's add that. There we go. Should start digging this out in a second as well. Let's also remove this. Let's make a waste disposal area. This is actually a perfect little waste area. We'll dump all our bodies and trash there. Corpses and. Uh, what's the other one? It's refuse. There we go. Oh, I need to set it to custom, don't I? Refuse and corpses. There we go. <clears throat> as you see, they're moving all the logs over there. I'll build a road out of here later as well. Because that's our water well there. Come, where's our miners gone? Some flies there. A swarm of flies. Where's our pasture? Right, let's sell our animals to the pasture. Stray horse. Cows. Goose. I thought it was a duck. Uh, poultry. What is that anyway? It looks like a turkey. Yak. There we go. The dogs and cats can just wander around freely. Where are miners? Right, let me check labor quickly. Where is a miner? He's the leader, I think. Where's the miner gone? Is that him? He's the planter. Where is our miner? Mason. Stone crafter. Leader. Miner. Why is he just standing there? Oh, maybe it's because I got him set to uh, cutting tasks. Labor. Miner, let's turn him off wood cutting and just straight into mining. He's still standing there, what? Come on. Oh, there we go. She started, whoops, she started uh, digging things out. 
We've got nice, uh, nice soil. That's what we want. So we can build our mushroom farms. So we can make beer for our dwarves. Okay. <clears throat> so first off, let me change that zoom out a little bit so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to want to build a nice big area for farming. Let's make it a little bit deeper. Hopefully that is all. Let's zoom in again. Hopefully that is all what we need for there. Hopefully it's all uh, loamy soil. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's put an extra layer. There we go. Now that's gonna be our mushroom farm. <clears throat> we use that as a kitchen area as well. Over here, I'm gonna build a stone crafting area. And a carpenter's shop. Is that water? Oh, siltstone, okay. Please be loamy soil here. Yes, it's just a bit of silt there. It does take a minute to get things running. One thing I was going to say also, you can just click on your uh, your workers, you can see their skills. Um, their proficiency in what they're thinking, where's their thoughts? He feels fondness remembering talking with a friend. Uh, memories. <laughs> Wouldn't it be grand to just take my life off and do nothing for the rest of my days? You see their friends and relationships there as well, a close friend. Which is pretty detailed, I mean, for a little game like this. They did very well at um, detailing it. How far can we zoom in? That's as far as we can zoom in, is it? Eventually, once I build another one of these storage areas in here, they'll start dumping resources off inside. What is that? Snake. King snake. And you'll watch out for stuff like that. I haven't seen it myself, but I've seen other people playing and they run into like dragons and stuff and ogres and goblins. Come on. Still a bunch of stuff in there we need to pull out. I'm just waiting for them to dig this out so we can build there. Well, this was going to be our carpentry and stonemason area. So we click hit down here. We click <coughs> place structures workshops and then we click um, carpentry so a stick a little carpentry bench here and you can choose any wood or stone you want to make it out of uh, let's use some walnut and then we'll build a stone where is it uh, stone worker there we go we'll put this guy here and we'll make it out of silt stone this is basically siltstone. You use it for building roads and stuff as well. Okay, so we have that. Now we can build a whole bunch of things. So let's make some barrels. We need that for our beer. And let's make some beds. I'm just going to choose random. You can like choose what type of wood you want to use. But I think I'll just do it random for now, it's not that important. 
I only usually like um, make things out of a certain wood if it's like a door or something. Beds and chairs and stuff, I don't really care that much. Okay, so we dig this out. Well, she's still digging it out. See what stonemason thing is built. Let's build doors. Make rock door. And the stone we have, I think it's just silt stone, yeah. So we'll make two of those. Oops. Door. Let's do four, actually. Once they're built, we can place them. Of course, the area where I want to build mushroom farm is just all siltstone, which is annoying. <clears throat> I might actually have to dig this out and just build it here. Not much I can really do about it. What is that? Rough yellow jasper. <coughs> Guess it's like a rarer ore. I'll use this area as a stockpile, that'll work. Wish I had another pickaxe. Why is he not using that pickaxe? Right. You should be mining. There he goes, he picked it up, finally. I should speed things up a little bit. He's a lot faster at mining as well than she is. Because his proficiency is higher. <coughs> well, we have some loam in here. Come on, I might have to just put it in here actually. And just move these over here. How annoying. I think I'm actually going to do that right now. Let's get this food growing, I've got time. Uh, workshops, farming, farm pot. That works. And then we can select, oh, once he's built it, we can select the uh, seasons we harvest and grow stuff. <coughs> As you see, he's there, he's planting the field now. What happened? An animal has grown to become a stray horse. Okay, well, let's add. That horse to the pen, it should be here somewhere, maybe. No, maybe it's not. Alright, well, we'll check that again later on. Yeah, those if these shops are going to go over there, I'm going to move them. Destroy. I'll let him finish making those beds first, though. <clears throat> there it goes. Destroyed it. Oh, we've got a whole bunch of doors here as well. Right. Uh, what is it under? Workshops. Farming. Still. And um, we'll make it out of... Uh, walnut, there we go. Bed's complete, we'll close that down. 
I might actually put a kitchen in there or a farming thing. <clears throat> Right, workshops, farming. Uh, we might also put a kitchen in there. Or I might just expand it. Let's use that word this time. Back. We struck coal, okay. Where's the coal? I don't see coal. Yeah, you can always check along the edges of the wall. It tells you what's there. Okay, is this built yet? No, he's still building it. Hurry up. Construction initiated. You know what, I'm actually going to start putting this pen down in here just so we can get those other workers doing something constructive. We don't want stone in there. No refuse. No corpses. Um, no wood. Eventually I'll put another storage for food as well. That'll be fine for now. That's our main stockpile. That's where they're going to put everything. There's a guy with a wheelbarrow walking around now. Whoops. See there's a wheelbarrow that he's pushing around gathering stuff. He put the stone out there I think. Now they should empty this cart. And bring it back and store it inside the mountain. Right, now let's try building this again. Stonecutter. What happened? A war dog is fighting. What happened? The king snake is fighting. A dog is fighting a snake. Is that what's going on? Stupid snake. I knew it was going to be a problem. I don't know where it died, but it's gone wherever it is. The fight's over. There's our beer barrels. Brew drink from plants. There we go. Okay, so now we can actually... Oh, excuse me. Now we can actually plant cave mushrooms. So plant helmets. Uh, let's do a bit of cave wheat. Dimple cups and more plant helmets. There we go. Let's make some cheese if we can. Let's check our pasture. Do we have any more animals to add to this? No. I know those flowers grow as well. They weren't here earlier, but they just popped up. The other thing you can do is you can gather plants. So we can click this little button here. And they'll gather certain plants and herbs. <clears throat> okay, so we'll build a road out of here later, but we also want to build a butcher out here and a fish station or whatever it's called. Where is it? Butcher. And you can choose whatever you want again to make it out of. We'll just do any of this. It just gives it a slightly different colour. 
and we will build a fishery. That's what you call it, a fishery. I can also go here and let's just make it out of that type of wood. What else do we have? Farming. Tanner. We can do that as well. Kitchen can go in here maybe later. <clears throat> okay, we have room. We can now put the stone platter in here. We use silt stone for that. And then we'll build the carpentry shop again. That can go there. And we use walnut for that one. Uh, what else do we have? Cloth maker. Let's do a leather maker in here as well. Now we're going to put another storage. And this is just going to be for stone and wood. And leather actually as well. <laughs> when he's finished digging it out. Okay. Let's make a couple of leather backpacks. Kind of handy. Let's get him to butcher an animal and catch live animals. Prepare raw fish, catch live fish. Prepare raw fish. As you see, some of the fish he's been catching is in here. Let's we'll stop bringing in. This fly is anywhere. Great. I'm also going to expand this a little bit further in. Just so I can put a couple more buildings in there. <coughs> I also want to build a stairwell, uh, stairwell down, so we can go down to lower levels. Which is important, because that's where the better resources are. Oh, we made some cheese, look. Horse cheese, that sounds disgusting, doesn't it? <laughs> Lovely. We we'll like some horse cheese. Let's draw the rest of that in. That room is finished. Oh no, there's one square there, he missed. Oh crap, I deleted it. Drink from plants. Right, this is almost finished now. See some fish there as well, rainbow trout and raw salmon. Also, it's so detailed, it shows the sex of the fish as well. Up top of the screen here with the happiness of our people. Most of them are averagely happy with a few people who are very happy. Food, drink, seeds, meat, fish, plants and other. And here's details on stock. We have doors as well. We should probably put some doors on the, uh, the front of this place. So doors. 
select after placement or use closest material. We'll do select after placement, then we can choose the stone we want. So you can have wood doors and different types of stone doors. One of those. And do one more. And there we go. I'll place those doors down now. Let's build some stairs down. And what are we looking for here? This here, isn't it? Yeah, stairs. There we go. We we'll do four levels. <clears throat> we'll also stick a door in here just to stop any unwanted beasts coming out. You can also put. Uh, Covers on the stairwells as well. Let's make some more beds. Let's do repeat. And let's do... What sort of wood should we use, actually? Bed. Type of wood we want to use. Let's use high wood and let's do repeat. So we'll make a whole bunch of those beds. That room is finished. Let's just expand that. There we go, perfect. This is going to be like a little kitchen area. <clears throat> I'm going to build the beds downstairs, the sleeping area. Oh, what have we got here? Jasper and Jet Wall. Interesting. And then we have Magnetite Wall and Shale. Shale, yeah. Interesting though. Oh, is there another fight? The dog is fighting. Somebody is fighting. Where? The stray dog attacks the king snake woman, but she jumps away. What is going on? Okay. So, for the second floor, we'll dig out a corridor. In fact, I want to close that off here. So we can put a doorway so nothing can get in and out. We'll do the same for this side. There we go. Oh, we dig down further later. See, there's a door there now. Let's build some. Uh, let's build some rock bookcases. Some cabinets. Some tables. We'll do that in a little bit. Um. <clears throat> So we have population with seven people, so we need to make seven bedrooms. Uh, hematite wall. And we've got some soil there as well, so if we wanted to build another mushroom farm, we could build one down there. Dig that out as well. Same for this level. And we'll erase that block there. And he'll dig that out as well. He's already started digging there already. Oh, is that water there? Maybe we should not dig there because it might flood the cavern. Let's, uh, Stop right there. Yeah, we won't dig there because it could be water there. I don't want to flood it. You can get floods. You can get... Oh, excuse me. You can get floods. You can also get um, lava and magma that can come through as well. 
you can block them off with like dams. Oh, we've got some beds made, nice. <clears throat> Let's see if we can build a road out of here. Construct, pave the road. Let's see if we can build one. Oops. We have a lot of siltstone, and we should have enough. Yep, sweet. This plot we're going to expand to the pathway, and the same for this one. Cool. We need more meats. Let's make this pasture a little bit bigger. Whoops. make a large pasture. There we go. Hopefully that will attract some more animals. Let's see if there's anything else we can add to this pasture. No, nothing yet. It should give more room to breed at least anyway. Digging away down there. What is that? Cinnabar? I don't know what Cinnabar is. Sounds like a spice. Don't know what Cinnabar is. Uses making furniture and building. Okay. Maybe it's just normal, a type of stone then. Yeah, jet use of building and making furniture. Jets, yeah, don't it also almost looks like uh, some sort of obsidian, doesn't it? How do I struck water already? I'm glad it lets you know, hey, there's water there, and that he stopped digging automatically. <clears throat> Our bedrooms are going to be here. So, let's build them like this. We need seven bedrooms. We'll do small ones to start with. As you do them two by two, you can make them bigger later on if you want to. Let me start putting some beds down. Oh, we have more people now. Whoops. We have 14 people, so we need 14 bedrooms. How many do we have there? We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, refugees, some migrants. Let's give these guys some jobs because they're just standing around otherwise. Okay, tasks, labor. Okay, so we have. Ooh, two new blacksmiths. Bone carver, a bowyer, and a ranger. What would a ranger know? The ranger can actually be a hunter, actually. Let's have him as a hunter. Where he is? There he is. Okay.
Range you can also do herbalism a little bit. Oh yeah, that's handy. Uh I'll have to make a new detailed list in a minute. Blacksmith Miners. Let's have some haulers. Right, you guys can haul. You can also haul. And soak of the bow here for a minute. You can also gather water as a ranger. You're a bow, yeah, you can do some wood cutting. And that'll do for now. There was another fight as well, I think, with that stupid snake. <clears throat> okay. Let's chuck some beds in there, hopefully. And any of those will do. We're also going to need to make a bunch of doors. And also need to make a dining area. In fact, the dining area can be here. Oh, is that the end of the map? We reached the end of the map there. Okay. Dining area can be over here somewhere. Let's make it five and five the other side. Let's just stretch it a little bit. I might make it bigger, we'll see how it looks. Always do the hallways like too wide, unless it's like an entryway to a bedroom or something, or if I want to block it off with just one door so monsters can't get through. Okay, they're still building. Let's put another bed down. Yep, the beds are in there. You can see they're all slightly different colours because they use different types of wood. <coughs> Got a grumpy dwarf apparently. Oh, there's a lot of beds now. In fact, I think we almost might have enough. Cheese, milk an animal, shear an animal, spin thread. Uh, what else can we make here? Make water skin. I don't think we have any leather. Make a couple more beds just in case. And then let's make. <clears throat> uh, let's make some cages for hunting. Let's make some chairs. Repeatedly make chairs. And we want to make tables now as well, stone ones. rock table and we're going to use uh, yeah shale again repeatedly make the tables let's 
Still placing beds. Also, these make doors in a minute as well. Doors, wooden doors for the bedrooms. Let's choose our resource. Let's use uh, not willow. Let's use walnut. Make it repeated. Oh my bad. Oh. land animal repeated I think it let me do that oh our roads getting built let's gather some plants Let's build our kitchen. Uh, where is it? Farming. Kitchen. Let's make it out of uh, walnut again, I guess. What else do we have here? Let's have a look at workshops. Farming. Corn or key. Corn, however you say it. Grinding stone, basically. Uh, let's put that there. Oh, let's see some stuff growing on the field. Make it workshop first. Okay, so I don't have that just yet. I thought I made one, but maybe I didn't. Uh... I just want to make a tanner. Tanner can go in here as well. Actually, no, tanner can go outside. So it'll probably smell and it'll attract insects and stuff. <coughs> okay. Tanner, there we go. Let's make it out of willow this time. See our road is built, it looks nice. Let's make another road. Expand it a little bit. Pave road. There we go. I just want to expand it all the way up. Cool. Okay, so our kitchen. Prepare easy meal. Let's do a couple of those. He's, he's using rainbow. He is using rainbow trout apparently. You see that in the list at the bottom. Oh, our tables are looking kind of cool. Even out the siltstone looks kind of nice. I think we should stop making them now though, because that's enough. Uh, yeah, that should be enough, I think. Let's place some more beds.
Let me see if they go back to the bed and sleep. Mm, someone became a carpenter, did they? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Okay. We have a bunch of doors now as well we can use for the bedrooms. Doors. Walnut doors. It's starting to look like a base now, isn't it? Doors. Okay, that's all the doors we have for now. <clears throat> Where's our tables? Furniture, uh, tables. Build traps on her as well, that's another thing. Never done it yet, but looks really interesting. Build BFT, that's what I need to press. There we go. BFT, BFT, BFT. It's a lot easier. Our tables. One more should do it. There we go. That's actually a perfect amount. Now we're going to put some chairs. Build furniture and where's chairs? Ah, BFR. BFR. I might put some bookcases in here as well. Cool. We need more chairs, but it's coming along nicely. Let's see if we've got any bookcases. In fact, I'm going to set this to a meeting area. That is our meeting area. It's also our dining hall. Uh, there we go. So they should just start gathering there now and hang around that area instead of hanging out outside. <clears throat> okay. So we also want to make little bedrooms. So, bedroom. Actually, we want to keep that separate. Very time consuming, but it'll be good once we get it done properly. We have 14 population. 
I'm doing these individually because you could just do all of them at once, but it does kind of count that as one bedroom. So I don't want to do that. Okay, cool. I should keep them busy for a minute. Let's build some beds. Okay, so let's do a shortcut for this. So BF, BF, B. BFB, easy little shortcut. BFB. Okay, that looks like it. That's all the beds we need for now. Let's stop him from making beds. Okay, he can still make chairs and yeah. Oops. Right, B, F, what's doors on here? P. B, P, R. Get these doors done. S Oops. We've got to wait for more doors to be made. Well, at least everyone has a bed. What is this? Black sand, cavern's floor. Now let's dig a little bit deeper. Interesting, there's some ore there. We dig that out. And then we won't go there. We go a little bit deeper. Oh, that's the end of the tunnel. Let's send a path up here as well. See what we can find. It's another path up here. Let's expand that a little bit further. There we go. Oh, well, people are a little bit happier now because they have beds, I think. Let's build... Uh, floodgate, let's put a couple of those. Just in case. A couple of grates. saving. I should probably actually make a proper save now. <coughs> uh, where is it? Rock hatch cover. There we go. Let's choose shale. And yeah, show. Let's 
a couple of easy mills. We do have a lot of food, it's just no meat. We have lots of drink. What is this? Bayberries, can we eat them? Interesting. They weren't there before. What if it's because it's awesome time, different stuff's popping up possibly. Oh! Walnuts. Okay, we can gather that. Interesting. I guess it's autumn, the leaves are falling. Oh, let's close, get rid of this cart as well. We don't need that anymore. Some became an expedition leader. Autumn has come. You've struck tiger iron, bloodstone, rose quartz, gypsum, lamites, and pink jade. Nice. Yeah, that black sand is interesting. Oh, there it is. Quartz. There's a water cavern there. A toad inside it, is there? He's just swimming around, minding his own business. Right, let's pause things quickly. Let's see if we have doors. Yes, we have enough doors now, I think. So, what was it? B, F, P. Oh, hang on. Wasn't it B, P, R? Yeah, B, P, R. Okay. Yeah, I think those walnut doors look kind of nice. has a bedroom. Uh, stray dog has given birth to puppies. Okay. Alert. Well, there is a grim reminder of, win of the winter hardships to come. The supply cavern from the white blockade is a welcome sight. Their eyes alight with the anticipation of inspecting the splendid products of your industrious craft dwarves. Take careful stock of your own stores. What? So I can barely read it, it's so small. What these motions offer might very well be the difference between a prosperous future and a slow and meaningful death. Okay.
Oh, here he comes. I should build a trade thing. Um, yeah. Where's the trade station? Trade depot. Yeah, I should build that here somewhere. Does it have to be built underground? Maybe it doesn't. No, I can build it there. I don't want them coming inside my mind. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's build some more stone doors. Do we have enough chairs now? Let's check. Diplomacy. Interesting. Never seen that before. Chair. Okay, we have all our chairs, so we can stop building those now. Cancel. Let's build some more doors out. We'll have to cut some more trees soon because we used a lot of the uh, the good wood we had. Right. Let's thin these trees out a little bit. That's a big old tree, isn't it? Is he a dwarf? 61 years old. Good memory. No official position. Healthy. Shows you what he's wearing as well. Clothes, health, gills. Interesting. You can see their personalities as well. The white blockade citizens. I'm your liaison from the mountains. Let's let's discuss your situation. Um, you know what, I don't know what I'm doing here. I do need to build a crafting uh, station though. That's what I need to build. Crafting workshops. Uh, crafts, so then I can make dwarven items. Let's make it out of... Uh, Stone. Is he going to come over? He's just going to sit there. And why did that trade station not get built? Does it have to be inside my mines? Oh, 
Okay, there we go. I had to click it three times, I had three amounts of wood to use. He's building our road there. We should probably build a road over here now since we know he comes from this direction. Can we build a road to meet him over here? Yes we can, perfect. Uh, where is our siltstone? Perfect. There we go. And let's put a little piece. We can build bridges as well. Let's build a bridge over the water. Uh, there we go. Easy. <clears throat> oh, so we can make a request. This request uh, seeds plump helms rock nuts little ca caps uh, large gems wood, crafts leather, where's meat? there it is, meat I'd rather just select all of them, I have no idea. Let's just do it like that, okay. Let's just do seeds. Yeah, and a bit of bridge across the river there as well. When I get over there. fish splash around down there. There we go. So the merchant can go here. Move goods to from depot. What do I have spare? Barrels, beds. Sell all those beds. Stick a crutch on there. Interesting when you build these doors, the handles on them are slightly different sometimes. Bloodgates. We have lots of fish. Let's sell a little bit of fish, shall we? We have some gemstones. Sell a little bit. Sell a little bit of each. Okay. Sell our chairs that we don't need. Good to see we actually have some weapons. I didn't know we had that. Do not have a broker. Broker. Is 
he's a broker. Military commander. We don't have any skilled military commanders. Sheriff. Organizer. Good. I guess he's gonna be the king of the dwarves. I need to set him up an actual better home. A bedroom, sorry. Let me see if I've got any more of these doors. Walnut door, there we go. Yeah, he needs his own bedroom. It has to be like a fitting for a king dwarf I guess let's put his bedroom right here I also make a storage down here for just money keep it separate from the other trade stuff I can go in there. I've got a stone door there as well, so nothing can get in or out. Oh! Looks like we found more water there as well. Have to be careful. should move some of that stone out of the way, it's kind of annoying. Let's put some more doors down. Need to build more doors. Wooden door. Why can't I... Like we've run out, run out of that wood we're using. We're gonna have to use uh, willow for now, I guess. <clears throat> Let's make some stone doors. Oh, we've got a whole bunch of stone doors, so we can stop that actually. Big cheese, that sounds disgusting. Did he give me money for that stuff?
I still need, I need to figure out how the trading system works. It's a little bit confusing. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to stop the video just there. Um, this game can take a while to really kind of set up and get into. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, it is available on Steam. And uh, as always, feel free to like, comment, and share. I'll, uh, I'll be back shortly with new videos. I might even carry, play on, carry on playing this or even do... Um, just record it, uh, stream it on Twitch without recording it. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon.